We're actually from the Astros Clan Hatch Live in the exciting video in this Phoenix Games. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Shining Resonance Refrain, and welcome to opening two, Etude of the Dragonair. And last out, Your last Highness episode, we found out that Yuma Yuma was um Had I been made aware the shining of arrival, dragon. I would have mustered the troops for inspection. I'm not here to inspect your men. I see. Then to what do we owe the honor? How long have military operations in Alfheim gone on now, Gjord? Eight? Gjord. No, nine years? Nine years to see the Emperor's, my father's, will done. And somehow, victory yet eludes us. The Emperor wishes to convey his impatience. He desires results. To that end, I come bearing the burden of command. By the Emperor's will, the invasion of Alfheim continues under my supreme authority. Your Beowulf now obeys me. I'll hear objections. I have none, Your Highness. We of Beowulf, the Knight Sanguine, have thus far failed in delivering our Emperor his conquest. If His Majesty has seen fit to grant us a second chance, though undeserving, we humbly accept. Enough, then. Let's not speak of apologies and humility. Instead, let us speak of plans. As I transition into my new role as commander, I admit confusion on a matter I'd like explained. This boy, the alleged bearer of the Shining Dragon. I've reviewed all your compiled intelligence, and yet not one report in the lot mentioned the dragon at all. Not even in passing. Explain this to me. We judge that information unfit to be reported on, Your Highness. Not worth reporting? Surely I misheard. The mightiest of his kin, a legend amongst even other dragons. You mean to tell me the discovery of the Shining Dragon himself doesn't even deserve a footnote? Perhaps it's best I let the man I assigned to it explain. Joachim? Yes, yes, a perfectly understandable query. We heard rumors the child possessed the Shining Dragon, so we acquired him, yes. We've since spent a great deal of time observing his growth, but sadly we were unable to detect the Shining Dragon's energy signature. He still was able to channel pure dragon energy on his own, however. I was in the midst of running tests for that at the time. So hopefully it's clear why we chose as we did. The official reports are reserved for confirmed, verified intelligence only. Hmm. I see. I'll remember your discretion as I conduct my new duties. Still, the Shining Dragon. Can this power of mine tame even you, I wonder? Hey, we talking about the Shining Dragon in here? Like the special mythical one? Is he really all that? Sounds like a dick, who is it? Zest, you're late. Care to explain yourself and show some respect? I'll not tolerate your lip in the presence of Her Highness. Already crawling up my back, Georg. I'm not gonna be rude. Promise. Hey, Princess. You brought your Draco Machina with you, right? So between them and the Shining Dragon, who do you think is stronger, huh? Between the Shining Dragon and my three spears? I cannot say. He fled before any true test of strength could be had. But the Spears have already communed with me on this matter. They prescribe caution in dealing with him. Nothing more. I see. So he might actually be fun to play around with, is what you're saying. Like if your big fancy machina aren't up to snuff. Zest, I told you to mind your tongue. What? Just calling it like I see it. Zest. Fine, fine, I'll just go. Later. I like Zest. I like him. Jorg, who was that man? Ah, uh, oh, Zest. Yes, my strongest lieutenant. Strongest of all the Knights Sanguine, in fact. I see. Less fortunately, he has a certain temperament. As his captain, I regret to report his mood swings are... difficult to work around. Hmm. I thought I felt a measure of power in him. If he's as unruly as you say, that is misfortunate. Well, no matter. I have concluded my business here for the day. We'll continue planning on the morrow. On the morrow. Thy will be done, Highness. 
Before you go, though, Beatrice. Hi, who are you? By, sir. I couldn't help but notice you didn't bring your retainers, Highness. Please, I would have you employ Beatrice instead. You'll find her capable. My name is Beatrice. It will, of course, be my pleasure to serve your Highness. A bender of shadow? How fascinating. Very well, Beatrice. You may accompany me for the duration. Thy will be done. With me, then. Let's be off. Let me guess, before you start. Don't leave her side for even a moment and make sure her every need is seen to. Something like that? Something like that. <laughs> I might actually like these guys. I like Beatrice. She's pretty amusing. But Zess is so far claimed the title of favorite character. By first impression state. I hope this game gets a bit more lax on the visual novel part and gets more gameplay later on. It seems like that kind of game is going to have a lot of dialogue in the beginning and not so much later on. It's going to become more open world esque. Does it still hurt? You're safe now. I promise. You want to explain what all these are for? Oh, I have to press X on this one? Alright. What's going on? Hey, no moving. Stop. You'll reopen your wounds. Adorable child. I see. I'm having a dream. Which means this is back then. Please. I know it hurts, but you can't move. I'll do what I want, Merch. No, no, no. If you're in that much pain. Oh, I know. I'll cast a spell to numb the pain, all right? Just hold still a moment longer. Here goes. Ready? That's right. I remember now. That girl, she... That girl. Her name, why can't I... Remember... She's dead. You killed her yourself. It's probably what happened. <clears throat> Hi. What was your name again? <laughs> oh, you're raving. Gurka. You're awake. W where? You're in Marga, your radiance, the royal capital of Astoria. I see. And you're a uh, Kirika, right? Kirika Toa Alma of Wellant. I'm also known as the Diva Magica. Please we get it. You're Kirika, the Diva you're Magica, and you're from Wellant. Shut right, up about Kirika. it. <laughs> nice to meet you. Diva like a singer, right? That song before. Just what is a Diva Magica? Oh, originally we were translators, I suppose. Divas once acted as bridges between men and dragons. Communicating will and whim. When dragons still roamed the world, there was peace. They spoke to us, taught us, sang to us in their ancient rune songs. Though the dragons are gone now, and the skies over Alfheim are empty, we divas still play the songs in remembrance. A new diva magica begins training from a very early age, not just to master rune songs, but draconic lore, historical tech. That's how it was for me, anyway. I applied myself to my training, but it always felt off, empty. But then I met you, your radiance. I always knew you returned to us. That's why I've been studying, playing my heart out, and and now you're really here. Uh, my apologies, your radiance. I allowed zeal to overcome me. Please, if I may serve you in any capacity. Play me some so. through the fire and flames. Um, uh, okay. Kirika, you know I'm not actually the Shining Dragon, right? My name is... I understand, Master Yuma. Perhaps not in fleshly form, but in spirit, you are the Shining Dragon. Okay, I'm the Shining Dragon. We'll go with that. Honestly, I'm just glad to have someone looking after me. <laughs> Kirika's straight Dragon Believer. I'll take that. Good morning, Kirika. How's he doing? Premula? Primula? Oh, oh, he's awake? Mom! Mom! She's a child. And that was Primula, 
Her mother Emma runs this place. Ah, Primula. Ha! Go in, I should say. Mom, look! Oh my! Good to see your eyes open, dear. You gave us quite the fright when you wouldn't wake up, you know. I don't I you didn't. know. Um, thank you for looking after me, ma'am. Breakfast is ready, so why don't you come down and put something in your stomach? Oh, and the princess is here. Best not make her wait. The princess? In time, your radiance. I think you'll understand after you two have spoken. Hey, good morning. You had a rough night. Were you able to rest up? You smile with you much. I don't like it. What's wrong? You seem confused. I, uh... She said I was supposed to be meeting a princess down here, so does that mean... A prin... Oh, for the love of... Hey, Emma, I told you not to call me princess in town. Hmm? Oh, right. I forgot. Sorry, dear. Hold on. Y you're... No way. You're a princess? Uh, what? Like it's that hard to believe? Here, why don't you let me introduce myself? Hi, I'm so the princess. Crown Princess of Astoria and firstborn to the royal family. Pleased to meet you. M my name is Yuma Ilvern, Your Highness. It's a profound honor to meet you. Hey, nah, -uh. none of that. No highnesses. Just call me Sonia, okay? Y you got it. But uh, what's the Crown Princess kicking around a regular old inn for? Well, excuse us for being regular and old. We're the top inn in the city, thank you. <laughs> and we've even got Dragoneer staying here. <laughs> Easy now, Primula. But she's right. I live here as the Dragoneer's caretaker. Dragoneers? That's what Excella and Kirika are, right? Are you a Dragoneer too? Uh, no. Not personally. It's more like I'm in training to become one. Something like that, anyway. So, um, Yuma... Weird question, but can we talk about your plans from here on? Your future? Sonia, I think it would be better if the king explained. We should escort his radiance to the castle before anything else. You're right. Can you come with us for a bit, Yuma? I'm a little uneasy about all this royalty stuff, but it's not like I can refuse the people seeing to my every need. I mean, you can. Okay. Wherever you want to go, point the way. Oh man, I got the Tracy Glingus. Royal Audience Chamber. Welcome, Sir Yu. I am Albert, King you of the You don't look like a king. Thank you for the <laughs> journey to You look like <laughs> you're supposed to be on the fucking wall telling us winter is coming. Fuck out of here. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, come, sir, you are. No need to be so stiff. Actually, if I may call you simply Yuma? Sure, that... that's fine, um, sir. Very good. Now, Yuma, I'm sure you have some guesses as to why you're here. The, um, the Shining Dragon, right? Then we're all on the same page. That's the short version, yes. However, let me first assure you of your freedom in this hall. Unlike the Empire, I have no intention of holding you against your will. You alone will choose whether to lend us your aid, and you alone will decide what shape that aid takes. That being said, if I may be so presumptuous, I would ask you for a particular kind of aid. The Shining Dragons, if it's yours to give. For nearly a decade now, Astoria has slowly bent and buckled under the Empire's boot heel. We're locked in a bad stalemate, to be frank with you. Marga's fortifications have seen that it remains standing for now. But we cannot place our faith in the walls forever. Then there are refugees fleeing occupied lands, and the poor souls left behind. They are my subjects, and I their king. I am duty-bound to protect them. I understand. I've seen the Empire do some terrible things out there. When I was at Galeritz, I saw... Cruelty. All kinds of inhumane experiments. Will you help us? With the Shining Dragon's power, Alfheim could be free of Imperial influence. I want to stop them too, I really do. But I can't use the Shining Dragon's power to do it. It... it's too... 
To what? It's not like he's evil. He helped me and Kirika, remember? No, no, not evil. It's more like... Ugh, then make a decision, why don't you? What does his power even mean to you, huh? It, uh... Well... Answer me! This is all about you, so why don't you say something? <sighs> if you've come this far just to clam up... Ugh! Sonia, enough. Yuma can hardly make his own decisions when you lay the pressure on so thick. What? No, uh, I didn't... Uh, no, I'm sorry, Yuma. None of that was right of me to say. Please excuse my display. You know I don't mean to embarrass you in your own hall, Father. And Yuma, can you forgive me? I know you have your reasons, so if you don't want to use your power... No, it's okay. I should be the one apologizing. Hmm. In the end, the fault lies with me, I think. You did, after all, just escape from Imperial Prison. Perhaps I was wrong to push for answers when you've been left with only questions. Shall we take a break for now? A moment to think with clear heads would do us all well. You are dismissed, Yuma. Please, take whatever time you need, see the city, and return with your decision once you've made it. Fair? Yes. If you say so, your majesty. Oh, Sean Jones, you're at you. Okay, what about the War of the Empire? Oh, don't worry about that, we finally gained our footing. Dots. Hey, don't make that face. Oh, I know, I'll show you how to say it, you know Come around, huh? That would be great. I've never been in such a place before, so I like to check it out. Okay, good, let's go. Marga, the seaside capital. Marga is a flourishing coastal city in the glorious capital. It's home to many people, and the king's castle rests at its center. You can get used to the facilities here and interact with citizens. Story icons. Things that can be examined, like the citizens of Marga, sometimes have a story icon displayed on them. To move the main events forward, look at the exclamation point times two icon. Try to attack the chicken. This one run everywhere. Story quest. How's it going? Ah, you want something? Hey, this is, this is you, my this is new friend of Shining Out City. Hey, new guy charmed. Nice to meet you. If you want something, I sell it. You better have the money, though. The shop, yep, the shop's self explanatory. To me, look, I'm friendly, but she's not a bad person. You can buy lots of useful stuff there. Let's go. See you later. Lift set. Okay, let's go see the set. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> she's just so unamused. You don't have weapons. What the fuck are these things for? The sigils? What's the sigil? I want to see. Uh, that is the girl. Okay. So. Have a nice day. That sounds so unused. Hey. My apologies. I apologize. I'm not quite sure I understand. Fine. My apologies. But when did you invite you to go on a party? Search point. That's also self-explanatory. Yes. I got a cheer carrot. That's a weird thing. Oh, she's already on my squad. That explain why she's like, "Fuck you, my guy." So here, can I just like save wherever I want? It's the little save point. Hello. Hi. Oh, Sonya, want me to whip something up? No, not today. I'm here to this newest resident of the Seagull Inn. This is Yuma. Oh, the name's Rapple. 
I'm an alchemist. Nice to meet ya. Likewise, what's an alchemist? Wait, you don't even know what an alchemist alchemy is? Fine. Listen up, alchemists are useful. You can make everything from military weapons to day-to-day -day supplements. For instance, Rapples Workshop is where you make stuff. That's some explanatory. So as long as you bring me the materials, I can make you anything you need. Okay, thanks for that. Heh, you're the honest type, huh? I like you. You can have this. Vital. Uh, increases my health probably. What's this? It's really pretty. That's an excellent piece. It gives you an aspect. And, well, let's just say it can make you powerful in all kinds of ways. Try to take on your weapon. Alright, but, it'll work. I'll try. Thanks. Giggle. Come on. Let's get going. See you, Rapper. Ah, Sonya. Wait a sec. Uh, when you get back to see Glenn, tell Primula you forgot your change last time. Don't be so oblivious. I'll, uh, hold on to it for you, so please swing by and pick it up. Huh? Ah, hee hee. Okay, I'll tell her every word. Hee hee hee. Uh, okay, fine. I'm counting on you. See you, Rapple. <laughs> hey, Rapple. That's pretty much all the major sites. Are you tired, Yuma? A little. I've never seen the bustling city. Yeah, it's the capital of Astoria, so you can get just about anything you need here. Thus far, we've been, uh, we've been able to hold off the Empire's so residents have been able to live here in peace. Alright, let's turn to the Eagle and rest. I'll talk to Rapple. Welcome. Hi. What are we making? I want to make a weapon. Can you make me a weapon? No. What are we I want to make a weapon. Beast. Aquatic. Nature. Demon. Undead. Alchemic. Dragon. Other. I want beast and demon. Oh, save point. Whoa! I slipped past the save point. Are you telling your friend too? You don't look very bright. That's for me. She's adorable! So cute. Oh, welcome back. There's someone here to see you. Uncle Burroughs, this is the boy I was talking about. Ah, about time. You're our dragon boy, then. The king filled me in. Call me Burroughs. How are you holding up? Uh, hi. It's, uh, nice to meet you. Oh, forgive me, Yuma. I should have mentioned. This is Burroughs, captain of the Knights of Astoria and an old family friend. Captain, if you're making a visit to the Seagull, that must mean you've got work for the Dragoneers, right? Right you are, my lady. A hunting contract. Seems something big is out terrorizing folk beyond the walls. What, a monster? More than your knights can handle if you're asking for a Dragoneer to deal with it. Well, the Knights of Astoria... See, we've got our hands full with something else right now, so... I see. By all means, then, let's petition the Dragoneers! Hey, Sonia, there are other Dragoneers besides Kirika staying here, right? Three of them, all told, yeah. Kirika and two others all use the Seagull Inn as their base of operations. And when the Throne doesn't have official contracts to offer, they go around assisting the people of Marga instead. There's not a soul in Marga who can't tell you a story about a stout-hearted Dragoneer. You can always rely on them. Astoria owes generations of peace and comfort to their protection. By playing their harmonics, they can channel special magic and perform feats far beyond other people. All to keep the peace, of course. Harmonics? Is that what you call those instrument weapon things Kirika and Excello were using? Mm -hmm. Excellos look more like a fucking lance. Gifted them to the ancients so they could protect At least um, Kirika looks like a fucking harp. There are supposedly seven harmonic armaments in all, three of which are here in Astoria. The elves of Wellant have another three, and the last one's in the care of that imperial princess. Wellant? Oh, but isn't that Kirika's homeland? What? Well, Astoria and Wellantine relations are peaceful. 
The elves' ancestors lived here a long time ago, so we've been allies for generations. Yeah, cool. At any rate, I should go and see about this something big. You stay here where it's safe, Yuma. You're going all by yourself? I can't just demand a Dragoneer's time without doing any scouting first, now can I? It's my duty to aid them in my father. Be that as it may, my lady. Maybe take Yuma with you all the same, just to be safe. <laughs> Me? What? <laughs> Me? <laughs> don't worry, Captain Burroughs. It's just a scouting op. You don't have to be so protective. Uh... Emma, could you make Yuma some tea? I'll be back before it's cold. Ah, my lady, wait. And she's gone. Emma, why didn't you stop her? Now I have to figure my plans out all over again. Plans? What in the world are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Yeah, I didn't say a thing. <clears throat> now, how to fix this? Hey, Yuma! Little coward! Are you letting the princess totter off into danger all on her own? Huh? B but she said she was just scouting, so... No excuses! Get after her right now, boy! Hop to! Wait, why? Why do I have to do this? I'd do as he says, Your Radiance. Sir Burroughs is a very stubborn man. Arguing will only make him grumpier. <sighs> fine, fine, I'll go. Allow me to accompany you, Your Radiance. If we hurry, we should be able to catch up before... Are you enjoying our moment? Sure, sure. You're into the Windia Grasslands, aren't you? There are lots of monsters there, so be careful. If you get tired, you can come back to the Seagull Inn and rest any time, okay? Yes, yeah, so if you turn in the end. Seagull Inn, blah, blah, blah. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, and your radiance, let's go after Sonya. And be careful, you two. Quest, memo, yeah, yeah. Trail, traits and bonds. Traits are the core characters of each of the characters. Change them in the bond. Damn, cool. Alright. I'm going to end this video off here. Till next time. Stay fired.